with the continued improvements that are needed for infrastructure, how do you pay for those improvements? Well, one of the things that we have to do is work with the 1% sales tax. The commission, uh, our city council, our state leaders, that's one of the ways that I plan on using and um, implementing our infrastructure plan around the city. The second question that we had is how do you reduce violent crime in Jackson? Well, I think one of the things that I've been stressing is we have to invest in our youth. I think our youth that are disconnected from the educational system, from recreation, but also from employment, are the ones who we're seeing committing these crimes. And so what I want to do is invest in our youth from a holistic standpoint that we can have things for them to do. We have to attract more business. We have to be able to uh, attract more recreation for them to do. And so that's what I plan on doing to bring the violence of crime down uh, in our city of Jackson. Do you think that the perception of Jackson needs to change? And if so, how will you make that change? Yeah, I think our image uh, needs to change. I want to rebrand the city of Jackson. Uh, I want to make sure that people feel like we have some hope, that we have some positive things going on in this city. Uh, people right now are hopeless all around. And so I want to make sure that uh, people understand that there is a new day coming, there are some fresh ideas coming, and that we can get this thing changed and we can rebuild this city together.